All right, Brian, let's talk about the 30s. By the time that you were in your 30s, if you want to know where the average 401k balance for someone in the 30s from age 30 to 39, it's about $51,000, which again, okay, so we've grown from our 20s, but also a lot of time has passed. Well, by our 30s, we are now aging and we're getting more mature and we're making better choices and we're growing up. So surely the savings rate would reflect that. When we look at the <laughs> average savings rate across both contribution types, <laughs> two 401ks, it's 12.7. So it, it is a smidge better than the 20s. But it's not at 25%, Brian. Yeah, this is the part. Look, and I, I, I'm going to be sympathetic. The 30s is where the messy middle is probably the most prevalent. Mm-hmm. I mean, because you're short on time, you're short on money, because you got a lot of life commitments between your family, your kids, your job. There's a lot of things pulling on you, both financially as well as responsibility-wise. However, I am disappointed because you're going to see in a minute, we're going to lay up what 25% mm-hmm. savings can do for you. And it was great. It was so awesome. It didn't matter really what you did in your 20s as long as you just did something. Yep. 30s is more of that period where I want you to be very purposeful. I want you, to, instead of being aspirational about reaching 25% of your gross income in your 30s, I need you to make it happen mm-hmm. in your 30s because you still have so much time on your side. There's a, a kind of a incremental decision, a fork in the road moment where you can create tremendous success without a lot of sacrifice, but it needs to be very purposeful in your 30s. If you want to spot check where you are by the end of this decade, according to Fidelity and Vanguard, they say that you should have about 2.6 times your annual salary, your household income saved by the time that you get to 40. So you should have saved up two and a half times what you are making annually. But I'm going to argue, Brian, for someone who's started in their 20s, and if they're carrying this through their 30s, and they're not the average, but they are the financial mutant, I think they're going to blow this number out of the water by the time they get to 40. Because even in your 30s, savings rates that are a touch lower, but certainly savings rates that are on the mark can be unbelievably valuable. Well, think about it. We just showed that the average value was 50000 and then we showed that people are only saving 12.7%. Mm-hmm. That's about half of what we're recommending with this current slide, which is 25%. That means, because we know once you reach $100,000, you get your assets to $100,000, that's kind of the hardest. Yep. Because you're going to see that you, you've now pushed that pebble that's turned into a, a, a rock and then it turned into a boulder. This thing is taking speed at this point where it's starting to build upon itself. And that's why there's still so much opportunity for the 30-something-year-old. If you look at a, even a 35-year-old, if you can save 25%, it's going to replace 84% Huge. of your current income. That's still tremendous opportunity just waiting for you to make something happen. Real, realistically, if you can get serious at this decade, in this stage of life, I would still contend that you're going to have the opportunity to take control of your future. So if you are thinking about early retirement or defining, I want to live the life that I want to live, and you've done nothing until your 30s, but you just get laser focused and super serious in your 30s, I think that it can still be done. If you want to know more, go check this out, moneyguy.com slash resources. 